always friendly and positive. She's a teacher's dream and a great friend of her peers. We're very proud of her and are going to miss her a lot. She's voted for you, or by you, the grade nine students. Please welcome your valedictorian, Erin Thompson. Everyone could finally fit in in some way. 
They had their clubs where they belonged, and I think it made an impact on the lives of so many students and influenced a great amount of friendships. But aside from extracurricular activities and groups that got to be included, I think a lot of the small things that we encountered every day made a huge difference to, the, to a lot of students' perspectives. Like Mr. Ditter always joking around with the newest couple here at Leach, or Ms. Sullivan signing off at every end of the week with, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. And I know most of you won't admit it, but we all know what everyone's looking forward to at the end of every busy week. I don't know about you, but hearing Colin and Eric's Jet and Bomber updates every day was the best way to start off my morning. <laughs> Followed by having Spencer and Arsh read the announcements to the school. Remember all our Live at Leach episodes that were created entirely by students from here at Leach? But everything that happened behind the scenes and all the crazy and hilarious stories we made up with Mr. Van Bethlehem were another story. Or what about intramurals that the Leadership classes have to manage almost every day? Speaking of intramurals, congrats to Team 2.5 for winning basketball. Arvin, where are you at? <laughs> Your vast talents and capabilities reach from things so unexpected, and every single day you guys moved up on my list of priorities. We have all been so blessed to be part of the Lancer family in such an astounding environment and setting, with all the remarkable teachers we've had to guide us along the way. They've taught, how, taught us how to overcome the most complicated of obstacles and helped us through the hardships in our lives. For example, last year Miss Fontaine would always be open and let us talk to her about our relationships and all of our girl drama. I know, right? Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> We've been through more together than everyone could ever imagine, and it's been such an amazing experience along the way. Although there have been a lot of bumps, the Great Nine student body has become so close in unbelievable ways. We've been through thick and thin together with so many twists and turns on this circuit this journey. These only resulted in the most remarkable experiences. Like the Cormies at the beginning of the year. Although it was the first field trip with all the great nights together, it for sure was not the least important. It was where new friendships sprouted and each class had the opportunity to become a family. I think it's safe to say that finally winning June Blast was also one of these moments for all of us. After two years of being defeated and being somewhat distant from each other in grades 7 and 8, we became so close this year that it drastically changes our chances of avoiding. Teamwork was key to our win this year, with a little bit of help from our teachers and maybe a couple of pre two last tweets. Another memory all the great nights have parted was the water fight we had a couple weeks ago. That was so much fun and one of the things I remember most about our third each and the graduating class. We've all come together so many times this year to give back as well, like all the money we've donated and fundraisers we had. For example, the Val Silent State we had a couple months back. Shout out to everyone who made it through the entire day without talking. I know it was hard, but I'm proud and extremely impressed by everyone who did it. It was great to be part of a community that great and gave back. As a group, we had multiple bake sales throughout these three years, sold hundreds of candy grams, collected items for Christmas hampers and salon mission, and we even attempted to clean up our own mess during Earth Day. It was a great way to bond with everyone and give back at the same time. I think I can speak for everyone in this room when I say our experiences at Leach have taught us a lot about life. Like how we, things aren't always going to go away, but if we have friends that care about us and teachers that always make time for pointless little problems, then everything will always be okay. Everyone has taught me so much, like how we can't let other people's opinions dictate our behavior or we'll never grow as a person. And I can honestly say I have. I'm not that reserved, antisocial preteen I was a few years ago. I know I know that even after Leech, I'll always be able to come back to this home away from home and be welcome like it was the first day of grade seven. There have been so many times we've been knocked down along the way. Like the first time failing a test, or losing an old elementary school friend, or just a friend in general. We've all helped each other up and reassured one another when we needed it most. I remember one of the first people I met at Leach and started getting close to told me, you can't put the key to your happiness in other people's pockets. And I didn't believe it at first. But after a while, teachers and other friends I met started to prove to me it's true. They taught me to appreciate myself, and that's one of the most valuable life experiences I've ever witnessed. I know it sounds cliche, but Nicholas Sparks wrote that the greater the love, the greater the tragedy will be over. I think that the reason it's going to be so hard to part next, part ways next year is because of the friendships and love we've created here. I must admit, I'm going to miss everyone, teachers and students, quite terribly, and I know this sentiment is returning. After these three years at Leach, I met people who made me believe I had a reason to wake up in the morning and fall asleep at night. For example, in grade 7, I had Mr. Green as my ELA in social studies teacher. And oh man, some of the ways he tried to catch our attention were moments I'll never forget. <laughs> like when he decided to act out an entire show. We've had a lot of great moments, and I don't want to believe it's finally time to move on to something bigger. But at this stand here, I can honestly say it wasn't until that September morning of grade 7 until I figured out where I belonged. 
From the beginning, I knew this is where I was meant to be. And now that we have to leave, I admit I'm going to miss every single thing about this place. Some of the most inspiring and influential people I've ever met are in this building, students and teachers included. No one in this school ever tried to minimize my problems, no matter how big or small they were, and taught me how to be open about certain things. But although our teachers and friends are important, we can't forget about the people who brought us into this world, our parents. Without their commitment to us and support, we never would have become Lancers in the first place. Life is full of difficulties and consequences, and becoming a true Lancer has taught me how to deal with them. No matter what everyone decides to do next year, or with the future, or what high school they choose to attend next year, whether it's Massey or FRC, or if they choose to part a different way, we'll always be able to look back at these three years and know we've come a long way. I can honestly say that no matter how alone you're feeling, on your tough journey to success and to high school, a lot of people sitting in this gym, including myself, believe in you. They will support what you're going to do. I guarantee you you'll have many failures along the way. They'll only push you to try even harder the next time around. High school, here we come. Thank you.